Hi, it's Danielle Donchema, Maritime Medium, and I'm currently in Grange Park. It's shortly after supper, and it's a beautiful night. And I have my notes on a couple of the films that I have been to at TIFF so far. The first premiere that I went to as a guest to sit down at was Ellen Page's and Ian Daniels' There's Something in the Water. It was such a moving documentary, and when you go into films like that that are raising awareness around really important issues, You've got to be really instinctual, um, careful about uh, that precision awareness around, okay, what are the calls to action? What are they asking of us from showcasing us this? Uh, that's the, the beautiful gift of film, of being able to share that information uh, rapidly so that we can all come together to help uh, be more aware and to hopefully help prevent these issues and correct these issues. So I wrote down some notes on some of my favorite things from that film. Um, some of the things that uh, Ellen and Ian incorporated into it were um, some older styles of film, uh, like roles showing how things used to be, uh, as in kind of like, I would say, 50s inspiration um, before showcasing the current uh, case of that area. And I thought that was a really nice touch. I love anything that ties me to classic Hollywood or classic film like that. Um, what was really moving about that film for me too was uh, they had shown a map with um, dotted indications of where waste plants were placed and where minority communities reside. And when they gave you that visual uh, close together on the same map, it was um, a very important eye-opener and it, it really makes it clear um, the evidential case of what they're speaking into here. Um, I thought the drone footage of the waste bubbling up um, was uh, like artful in the mess that it's in. I thought that was a good way to capture that imagery um, and show us what um, is really happening uh, to the water systems there. Um, the cohesive elements of seeing this were really interesting. So, um, yeah, like they were just so good about making sure that anyone that they brought on to share their personal stories, they had that um, continual structure. So they had uh, each woman that they were featuring um, in their vehicles, driving them to their locations, sharing from their hearts, uh, why they felt the way that they did and what the truth in the personal um, and business elements were around that community and just so moving. Um, some of the important takeaways from this um, were to really pay attention to uh, being purposeful about being less wasteful. So one of the key points that one of the women made in the film was uh, addressing how uh, everything uh, we eat now of course comes with you know plastic or packaging and she had mentioned how there wouldn't even be that mess if we had chosen not to go that route so um, it was just another really important reminder of that so I mean I, I keep thinking about wanting to eat more bananas or have more um, produce ever since watching the film truly I keep thinking about it um, so that's really on my radar the other thing um, they indicated one of the businesses that has been a problem for them is uh, Stop Alton Gas um, is kind of the um, business name around how to help with uh, what the indigenous communities are doing to uh, protect and correct these issues. So Alton Gas is the business. Um, and January of 2020 is actually a very important date. So um, contractually, they uh, had an agreement with um, their local politicians in Nova Scotia uh, to have this resolved by a certain date in January and lo and behold they were asking for an extension and um, our Indigenous community leaders, our grassroots grandmothers were really expressing how they were hoping, to, not hoping, like they were counting on it, they've been waiting long enough and they had wished that their political um, person in charge had really been more firm on no you've had enough time had you been doing the proper planning you would have this under control so very moved by it so after the film uh, I tracked down stop Alton gas on all of my social media platforms so I'm following them now and I'm going to be paying attention to that um, the indigenous women who are standing up for these issues like frontline also have a GoFundMe page I'll share that on my pages as well um, and that helps them with um, a lot of the basics, uh, sometimes legal fees too, uh, it seems to be, and 
um, just so that they can continue to get to where they need to go. Um, but they were very moving and they were there at the end and it was, uh, it was very touching. So um, the other piece I wanted to touch on with this before closing up this video was how um, absolutely courageous it is of Ellen and Ian and Ingrid. Um, you know, Ingrid wrote the book, but for all of you to be um, creating this because I feel that when you speak up on major tar major topics like this, you can become a target. And I want you to know that you have more people beside you. You will continue to. And I think the work that you're doing is very important. And I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to see this film. So uh, I really look forward to following the opportunities with this. And one of the best comments that I heard after the film, too, um, was when uh, a professor in the Q&A had asked, um, basically, you know, how do I get this in my classroom? Uh, at the university and I just was so impressed with um, that level of okay let's advance this where are we going like how do we continue to share this information right away so I wanted to share about that I've been having a really beautiful experience here and um, that movie uh, it's going to be uh, a very sincere highlight for me for all of my life as that was the first TIFF premiere that I sat down on um, to fully enjoy as a guest. And I, I just thank my lucky stars that um, the bar is set so high with that one. So um, I wanted to share my experience. There's other films to talk about too, but that one in particular is where I wanted to start. And uh, now I'm going to go and relax for a bit before um, this beautiful sun is tucked in for the night. So hope everyone has a great night. If you like these videos, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I highly encourage you to find Stop Alton Gas on all of your social media platforms and follow these beautiful women and the work that they're doing. Bye for now.